You were all born in, into the similar families to yourself, so you knew that this was always going to be the lifestyle you wanted to lead. What, what, why was that? I think that um, I actually did have to investigate plural marriage to decide that it was definitely something that I wanted to live, but I lived in a very happy family, and I think it's something that was always beautiful for me, and so um, when I did choose it, that's probably one of the reasons why. So that's, so that's Susie uh, we're talking to you now, and then there's uh, Abel, who, uh, who's obviously sitting there next to Susie, and then we've got Beth, and then we've got Marina. Now, it is illegal for a uh, polygamous uh, relationship in, uh, or, or multiple marriages in Utah, so you're actually married to Susie. Uh, what's, so ha ha in, in, the, in the eyes of the law in Utah, what's the relationship with Beth and Marina? In the eyes of the law, uh, there's no... There's no legal binding contract between us. We're not legally married. It's just uh, a spiritual marriage and um, commitment. You know, commitment that we've made to each other. Yeah. But it's uh, it's the Mormon Church that you're uh, you're ad adhering to, and that's the way that you are living your lives. You knew Susie uh, for for since you were teenagers, uh, and so, and and you I think you were married for how, 15 years before um, before Beth came along. No, no, actually, um, we were probably only married about two years before Beth came along. Is that correct? Maybe one and a half. Yeah. yeah. So how how did that so happen? How does that how does it happen that you incorporate someone else into your life? Uh, not not you know not just as a as a friend, but but also as a as a as a lover. It's definitely a challenge. Any relationship that you want to build is challenging, and so to bring uh, to expand your family and. Uh, develop another relationship with another woman is it's challenging i mean relationships are you know they're difficult well, and Ma uh with marina with you our lifestyle it's it's you know even more difficult but it's what we've freely chosen and it brings us happiness okay well marina you, you don't sound very happy <laughs> you sound positively miserable to me we're really nervous, uh, okay? Uh, it's 4 a.m. And so. it's 4 a.m., so give us a break. Okay. Uh, we understand that. We understand that. Marina, you joined the marriage three years ago, and actually you've been quite open and very honest that, that the now. first year of marriage, that this was really tough for you, and you found it very hard to, to get the dynamic with the, with the other wives because you missed out on that newlywed bit, that, that moment of being excited getting newlyweds, just the two of you together. Yeah, it's definitely, the newlywed part is definitely different, obviously, than in a monogamous marriage. I mean, you have a limited amount of time with your husband, but then you're also building two other relationships apart from the one with your husband. And so, yeah, it was challenging, but it we made it through, and we're still working on our relationships and every... Every moment they grow stronger, and that's why we're here. How do you divide Let's your grow time, strong, Abel? Loving. How do I divide my time? Uh, well, I uh, I spend as much time at home as I possibly can for my wives or my children. They always have access to me. I'm always available for them, and I try is and spend it, as it, much time with. It's so only only reading what we've, you know, and, and you correct me if I'm if I'm wrong here. You say you always make yourself available to them, but but the, if you're out on a date with with one of your wives and one of the other one texts you, uh, that doesn't go down very well. Um, I've tried. Well, I've learned over time. I've tried to avoid that. Uh, that's it's important to maintain a good relationship with one of my wives and if I'm out on a date with one of them then yeah I try to avoid um, having some kind of conversation or even a fight with the other ones if I'm um, if I'm not there have, have any of you have any of you ladies have you ever felt jealous of the others I mean it's a, it's a human condition you must occasionally have thought I wish he was with me tonight and not her uh, yeah of course I mean what woman doesn't get jealous so, but that's kind of the beauty of the way we live is we work through those emotions and we overcome them and that we become better people because of it. 
And, and what about the children? Because with Susie, you've got six children. With Beth, you've got four children. With Marina, you've got two children. So when you're having these quality times, I guess, with your individual wife and their families, are the children of sort of have free access to you, Abel, or do they have their sort of section time with each family that you're spending your time with? Uh, no, I always am available to my children no matter uh, which house I'm at. Um, I've made that uh, a policy from the beginning. I, I love each and every one of my kids and I don't want to, I want them to have as much time with me as possible. I mean, my time is pretty limited in each house. Oh, they feel comfortable in each of the wives' houses. Yeah. Um, and they we can all walk live into in... my house without knocking on the door. Beth and Marina's kids are always welcome to walk mm -hmm. in and be with my kids. And uh, just finally, Abel, um, do you have three mothers-in-law? <laughs> How uh, many do you have? More than that. I've got more than that. Mother's Day is... Uh, 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 Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, thank you very much indeed. He, I think he's knackered. Like, um, I think he's dead. 